Last time on Baki Z, our favorite anime YouTuber Sensei was telling you about how this nigga Baki was getting punished. Bro, this dude was literally hanging from a windowsill. I mean, literally hanging there for dear life. I ain't gonna lie, the grip on his fingers had to be crazy. I'm talking jaws of life. I'm talking my last shorty. I'm talking about that wedgie that sumo wrestlers get tight. This nigga was grabbing the window sill and he was not letting go until this nigga Ujiro tackled him and went pummeling towards the ground with this nigga. Before we get into this video, this is crazy. I'm speaking to y'all from the future and the past and the past and the future. If you get this video to at least 15,000 likes, then I'm gonna cover the Baki manga after this. And I'm not gonna lie, you're not gonna wanna miss this. Musashi in the art, yeah, the swordsman, it's going crazy right now. One of y'all favorite characters die? God damn. I'm not gonna lie, as he was falling, I thought to myself that this man, Baki, is going to die. There's about 12 police officers down there with riot shields on some Black Ops 2 shit, waiting and seeing what is about to happen. And the entire time, this man, Baki, has the look of someone that is terrified on his fucking face. I mean, uh, uh, editor zoom in on his face. And why does this man, Yujiro, always look like this? Bro got the wrinkliest face I've ever saw in my life, but got the muscles of a nigga that's doing the world's strongest man competition. And right about now, he should be, oh my God. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, I can't believe that he just pile drive this man Baki into this fucking car like this, bro. This shit look like some monster truck shit. You, you know how them fat ass trucks be driving over cars? That's what that car look like. Now, of course, there's going to be some super boxy physics to this. I mean, that's just how this anime works. The narrator explains to us that if, that if you are falling through the sky at whatever fucking feet and you spread out in a certain way that the impact... Basically, he made it so him and his motherfucking son don't die. But that's besides the point. That's not what we're here to talk about. What we're here to talk about is how this man grabbed his grown ass son by the face and slammed him into a car down there. Bro, somebody might have had to use that car for something. Bro, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. That probably is a single mother's car. She will never go to the grocery store again. And why are these police officers here like this? Like they can do anything about it. You wanna combat a man that is grabbing an 18 year old's face like it's a fucking basketball and holding him in the air? Oh man, I told this bitch ass nigga I was gonna slam him in the car. I don't know why I didn't listen to him. What the fuck y'all cops looking at, huh? God damn, yo, chief, he, he really slammed his son into a car. Man, don't you think I can see that, motherfucker? I'm right here. Man, man will y'all shut the fuck up now, son? It's time to get up so I can continue beating your fucking ass. And as this man, Yujiro, goes to grab Baki's hand, as he asks him so politely to help him up, I'm like, oh, look, these guys are actually helping each other like father and son should. <sighs> Is what I would like to say, but this man, Baki, slapped the fuck out of Yujiro. Well, I'm not gonna lie, I can't believe that he slapped this man like this. This is a grown ass man we're talking about. Anybody that ever slaps me in my face is getting these fucking hands. Unless it's, you know, a woman. And in that case, I'll probably just let it slide the first few times. But after like the third hit, I'm going to slam you on your fucking neck. Equal rights, get these equal rights and lefts. You feel me? I'm just saying. But he slapped this dude in his fucking face. Bro, I'm not going to cap to you. I knew that this man Baki was getting punished after he did this shit. Because who in the fuck did he think he was slapping Yujiro, the ogre Hanuma, in the face? As soon as he slapped them, bro, the narrator breaks it down like Baki was slapping something of the weight of a huge ass mountain, a big ass boulder or something. It had no effect on you, Jiro. Oh, it just shit. made him mad. And then he Go hit that nigga with the cleanest rights I've ever saw. Bro, he knocked this man Baki into a mall and started walking through a crowd of police officers who then scatter like roaches when the lights come on. This man said, get the fuck out my face without even talking. He is reprimanding his son. He goes in and grabs him by the cheek. Bro, I do not want any person grabbing my cheek that's not my grandmother. He picks him up like that. Bro, if you're holding me by my fucking cheek, pause on that that was crazy and you throw me like i'm a piece of trash nah you got it i want no smoke with you bro no cat he tossed baki like a piece of luggage bro i'm not gonna cap and then this dude baki gonna get up and do this all right pops since you want to throw me like i'm a fucking baseball or something i guess i'm gonna have to get serious with you <sighs> did you just take your damn shoes off
I got them smelly ass chunk back on, man. Oh, I know you ain't just kicking them shit in my face, cuz. Rocky, I'm about to beat your ass. I swear to God. Bring your soft ass over here. So, first off, Pops, I'm gonna have to say pause on that. There should be no adjectives about my ass coming out of your mouth. What the fuck? Bitch! Bitch! Bro, he slapped this dude, Baki, like he was punishing his son. And that's what he was doing. This entire time, well, most of the fight at least, it felt like just a punishment, bro. He spanked this nigga, hit him on his bare ass, and knocked him into an escalator. But you know what was about to get serious, though? Because this man, Ujiro, brought out the whip style. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this is a February exclusive, a Black History Month lesson for all of you. Anytime I hear whip, I get PTSD. I'm not gonna lie. White folks be like one day away from making us go back to them fields. I'm not playing with them niggas. Cause you gonna have to send a SWAT team to get me to pick cotton. No cat. But this man, Baki, got smacked with the whip style and the pain that this nigga went through. He was screaming ow, ooh, ah, 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 like a grown ass bitch. Bro was holding his leg on the ground in a fetal position, bro. Motherfucker had saliva in his mouth and shit, bro. I'm like, oh, nah. But my man Baki wanted to spin the block, bro. And that is where the image on this thumbnail came from. Because this man Baki hit him with the whip style back. And instead of actually being hurt, oh, nah. This man, Yujiro, just flexed his entire body, bro. His whole fucking muscles flexed. So the pain got dispersed over everywhere. Oh, you can't even hurt you, Jiro, because he's going to flex his muscle so hard he doesn't feel it. This is ridiculous. His chest, his stomach, his hips, his arms, his fucking legs, his face. He flexed every ounce of muscle on his epidermis, nigga. And that's skin for you dumbass dudes that skip science. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Just the way you Jiro stand be pissing me off. Because why does he stand like that? He got a, like, hunched over position with long ass arms. This motherfucker is looking like a wacky, flatable, flail arm, flailing tube man in this bitch. And I know I just said that wrong. I'm not gonna cat. But you Jiro knows that this man Baki is playing. And because of this, he asked him to get serious. And at this point, the little ass old dude shows up and tells them that they got the entire mall to themselves and no one will intervene in their fight. All right, son, it's time to get serious. Man, Pops, what do you mean get serious? I've been fighting you for real this whole time. Hey, shut your ass up. You ain't been serious at all. Lie to me again, motherfucker. I'm gonna have you eating applesauce for a week. Applesauce? Can I at least get put No, motherfucker, you ain't Bill Cosby. Man, what the hell? Hey, hey, Baki. Hey, man, go ahead and get serious with this bitch, man. You got this shit. Yes, sir. Hey, oh, man, you want me to come down there and beat your short ass up, nigga? Man, I'm just saying, man. I'm trying to root them on, cause my fault. Man, but Baki, look, man. I shut the whole mall down for y'all, man. Everything. I shut down the Gucci store, Javanti, Neiman's, all that shit, man. So if y'all need any drip afterwards, man, go ahead, go in there and get what y'all need. What the fuck? What? Man, you heard the fuck I said. So at this point, bro, this man, Ujiro, is fed up with Baki. Knocks this nigga into a fucking wall, bro. And I knew at this point that, oh, yeah, if it hadn't got serious already, it's serious now. Motherfucker is making implants of his body and fucking walls and shit. So Baki uses his fucking roach attack. I ain't gonna lie to you, this roach shit is the weirdest shit ever, bro. Bro has copied a fucking roach, tackled his father with the speed of a goddamn... What, what is that? A, a cockroach attack, nigga? Of all the things you could have copied, Man, I guess it makes sense, because them all the roaches be moving fast and shit, bro. Growing up in the hood, y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. You be eating food, bro, you turn the light on, bro. It be roaches standing there, like, hovering over your food, salivating, waiting. Hey, uh, yo, you gonna finish that? My, my, my motherfucker, get the fuck out of my face! I ain't gonna lie, this man Baki tackled his damn through the wall. Hit him with a kick. Hmm. Damn. Knocked him into the wall. Those started flying through different stalls in a bathroom and shit. I'm like, oh, nah. This man, Ujiro, was ready for that shit. I ain't gonna lie. Ujiro be weird, though, because he be getting turned on by getting attacked by his son and all that. Like, hey, what's up with this big brolic ass nigga, man? <laughs> Basically, this man, Baki, has learned to be water. Nah, vapor when he fights, which is actually pretty cool. He makes his whole body super loose, like he's liquid, and then evaporates. And right before he attacks, he gets tout again. And it's like an explosive ass attack. The biggest problem with this is, though, that this man, Ujiro, is just too big, too strong, and too skilled. So he picks this nigga Baki up and hits him with like a German suplex power bomb. I don't even know what the fuck that is, but you need a whole special meter in WWE SmackDown vs. Raw to do that shit. 
So this man, Yujiro, is finally outside, and everybody in the world has showed up to watch this fight, bro. Yeah! Yeah! Yujiro! No, oh. fuck Yujiro, cuz. Hey, Pac, you beat that nigga ass, cuz. Oh, fuck you, man, Yujiro. Stop on these Oh, fights. my God. Breaking news, breaking news. Everyone, everyone, right now, Yujiro Hanma and Baki Hanma are actually fighting. They are outside going the fuck in right now. Everybody needs to tune in. If you're not in downtown Tokyo, you need to get there. It is crazy out there. I saw everyone out there. Shaquille O'Neal was there. Snoop Dogg. The one nigga that shot that guy in Walmart. Uh is the fact that y'all have not subscribed. Yo, I'm about to break down to y'all what's going to happen. If you don't subscribe, turn on those post notifications, like, and leave a comment on this vid. I'm going to be real, real clear with y'all. First off, I'm fucking your aunt. I'm not going to lie. I'm breaking her back. They call me Aunt Bat Breaks In. You feel me? I'm, I'm really on that shit. I'm... Me, 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 me. I'm making your get on up, nigga. Then I'm gonna get your granny. I'm gonna get her pregnant and have a son, and you're gonna have an uncle, nigga. I'm not playing. Make sure you subscribe or you're a bitch. Simple as that. But if you do subscribe, I ain't gonna lie, you can get about 3,000 hoes. You're gonna wake up tomorrow with 3,000 hoes on your dick if you hit that subscribe button. You're gonna wake up with 10 million cash in front of you. You feel me? Yo, back to the video. So this man, Ujiro, standing here looking all ominous, don't got no pupils in his eyes. Bro's out here looking like a demon and shit. Bro getting turned on because he tastes blood. Weird ass nigga. A uh, 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 necrophiliac ad nigga, <laughs> a Dracula ad nigga. What, what's going on, man? I'm really on it. All right, my fault, my fault. But yo, this man starts flexing and his hair starts floating like he got an invisible aura about him. What is going on with this man, Yujiro Rama? Bro, even Dopa Orochi showed up out here looking like Slick Rick. Bro got a damn eye patch on. I, I, I got a pocket. So once again, this man Baki has made himself water, bro. It is really time. I'm not gonna lie. And he goes to tackle Yujiro. The problem is, how you gonna try to hit Yujiro with the same move twice? Motherfucker, do you know who this is? This is big Yujiro, cuz. You can't use the same move twice on him? Bro was disappointed, I ain't gonna lie. He face palmed the shit out of Baki. This man Baki is down bad. Tears in his eyes, motherfucker. Whole face is bleeding, nose running. Knees weak, arms is heavy, he's vomit on the sweater already. Yujiro spaghetti, he nervous. <laughs> this motherfucker going crazy. Again, goes to swing on Yujiro, gets face palmed. I'm not gonna lie, he is stiff arming and shit. And you can't be out here fighting your dad. God damn, hold on real quick. Why he spitting all that fucking blood out his nose like that? Bro, I ain't gonna lie, I know he about to die of blood loss. Somebody get him a transfusion. He was out here bleeding like his nose, like Sanji from Fishman Island, bro. And this motherfucker ain't see no mermaids. I'm not gonna lie. But it doesn't matter what Baki does, bro. This man, Yujiro, is blocking every single attack. I feel bad for Baki, bro. It's like no matter what he does, it's getting stopped. Bro, these motherfuckers is moving at goddamn light speed, bro. I ain't gonna lie, though. This man, Baki, out here on some zesty shit, though. He talking about. Go ahead, play with him. Let him play with you. Bro was envisioning himself playing with his dad as a baby. And that's what this fight seemed like. He beating this motherfucker up like he a toddler or something. So this man Baki does exactly what he can do. He starts doing these dumbass dinosaur poses. The craziest thing about it though, is that this man Yujiro has wanted to fight dinosaurs his whole life and he's never got a chance to. This time seeing his son and envisioning it like this has got him super excited. And he takes Baki head on. It's so crazy, he steamrolled this man Yujiro into a minivan and pushed it over. Bro out here fucking up soccer cars. This man Yujiro is mad, pause though, he talking about. I love feeling that raw prehistoric power like what the fuck oh no nah. this whole time it's like these two was fighting and making love and shit but the fucked up thing about this next part was that yujiro completely shit on this man baki whole fighting style so you know how baki be envisioning these animals these dinosaurs he be posing he be making the poses of them and fighting like them this man yujiro said he's about to show you the ultimate pose fist i forgot what it's called i ain't gonna lie your voice in do not be paying attention to the vocab and this shit but just know this nigga was about to pose and beat this man baki ass and on some cocky shit he poses as himself yujiro hanma the real strongest creature in the world is himself bro i gotta see this man yujiro versus kai right now i'm not gonna hold you bro how you gonna pose as yourself bro 
did the damn attack basically perfect. I felt bad for this nigga Baki, but this next part in the fight really confused me, bro. Not because I didn't understand what was happening, but because I never thought I'd see it in a million years. This man, Yujiro Hama, has finally praised Baki, y'all. Hey, son, come here real quick, man. Motherfucker, we're in the middle of a fight. Man, man, come here, man. I want to pat your head. Pat my head? What? Nigga, what? Bro, I just want to show you how proud I am of you, Baki. C come here. I really want to grab the top of your head so I can show your barber where he need to shape you up right the next time. Your hairline ridiculous, but come here so I can pat your head, boy. Motherfucker, you, you dead ass right now? Yeah, I I'm proud of you. And because of this, this man, Baki, started crying like a baby back bitch. I'm not going to lie. Tears was coming down his face. He didn't know what was going you're on. So, you're so cruel to me, dad. Like you gonna wait till I'm goddamn 18, nigga, to praise me and shit. Like, my whole life, you ain't done nothing for me, nigga. You ain't got me no new J's. You ain't taught me how to pick up shorties, nigga. I got no riz. The only reason I got the girlfriend I got is because I can fight good. Nigga, if I couldn't fight, she won't fuck with me, cuz. You see how she was playing Ali Jr.? Like, come on, man. This is some bullshit. Man, I can't do it, Pops. I ain't gonna lie. I can't let you pat me on the head, nigga, because this is gonna make me look like a bitch out here in front of everybody, cuz. And I'm trying to see if I can. Yo, Baki, shut your ass up. <sighs> Now come over here, I'm gonna give you a fucking hug, teach you what true strength is, bitch. This man grabbed by- Did this nigga just make him bleed out his nose, touch it with his finger, and lick it? Oh, nah, this nigga is nasty. Bro, this man. Super dirty, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. Cause this man, Pickle, got reprimanded, bro. This dude, Baki, hit his ass, knocked the tooth out his mouth, and had him sitting down like a little bitch. But it was the first time he ever got handled like that. The narrator was like, God damn, nigga, I ain't never seen Pickle be like this. This nigga sat down on some whole ass shit. Motherfucker was like, <laughs> What the fuck he say, man? He said, damn, nigga, why you have to sit me down like that? I don't even like sitting pretzel style, cuz. I don't even like pretzels. That shit was crazy. This man, Ujiro, gonna ask this nigga, Baki, if he jealous. Not only did Pickle get sat down like a bitch by Baki, then this man, Ujiro, still got the one up him and flex his power again by asking his damn son if he jealous. Ain't no way. I would never in my whole life let this happen to me. Well, I probably would, though, because it's Ujiro, but y'all know what I'm saying. So at this point in the fight, these two niggas decide to have a pants off. And by a pants off, pause on that, by the way. I mean, these motherfuckers are putting their hands in their pockets on that shit that, like, Biscuit at Oliver and uh that one dude did I forgot and they're deciding that they're about to fight each other and see who's quicker on the draw and just like that bro this man Ujiro hits this dude Baki with something crazy I mean insane the whole time this dude Biscuit Oliver is watching as this man Baki about to get hit in his chin and then turns it into a tiger king which seems to be putting a knee on the back of this nigga's neck and got his arm in some sort of submission. Well, I'm not gonna lie, bro. This nigga hit this dude, you Jero, so hard that this dude, Biscuit Oliver, got excited. Like, his fat-ass wife was with him or something. This motherfucker was veins popping out. He's like, yeah, this nigga Baki strong. Yeah. And whole time, I'm like, yo, Biscuit, you gotta chill, yo. Pause. But none of that even mattered, though, because this man, you Jero, outpowered this dude, Baki, bro. Literally just got out of the hold and there was nothing he could do about it. I ain't gonna lie. I don't think there's anything at this point that this man Baki could do to Ujiro to stop him. And I know that's not saying much because obviously it's fucking Ujiro. But the fact that this man Baki is even staying in this fight is impressive. This fight got so crazy, bro, that they saw an envisionment 
of their fucking grandfather and father, Yuchiro Honda. This man show up, start talking to this dude, Yuchiro, like, yeah, bitch. I'm like, yo, even the grandfather's cold? Oh, nah. Hey, what's up, little dudes? <laughs> what up, grandson? Man, you looking good out here. Hey, what's up, Yuchiro? Little bitch. <laughs> hey, what's good, though? Wait, is that my grandfather? Oh, shit, Pops? Man, it's me live in the flesh, man. Hey, listen, man. I ain't gonna lie, Bach, you can beat your dad. That motherfucker a bitch. I ain't gonna lie. If I was still alive right now, I'll show you how to beat him. I'll put that pain in on this bitch ass. You know, I survived the new. Man, Pop, shut your ass up. You dead, nigga. Man, I don't know if he dead or not, though, Pops. Like, because granddad right there, like, we both see him. Man, shut your ass up, man. It remind me of this movie had, though, uh... It's called the dress down. I mean, not dress down. What's it? D dress? Uh, motherfucker, I I'm gonna do this to you. Bro, he started whipping this dude, Baki, around like he's a fucking nunchuck. He used him as like a pair of nunchucks, bro. Started. <laughs> On some goddamn Mortal Kombat shit, bro. Started whipping this dude, Baki, around like he is nothing. Like he is literal garbage, bro. Ain't no fucking way that he did this to this grown ass man. Bro, he started punishing him and then his fucking endorphins kicked in, bro. Every time this man Baki about to get punished by somebody, them shits kick in. His girl shows up. I'm like, bro, it's going on at this point. Oh, his girl showed up talking that shit. Oh my God, will you guys just finish this fucking fight? You've been fighting all fucking day. Bro, Baki, I am tired of this. You told me that tonight we could watch Grey's Anatomy and you give me some dick. Oh my God. I did tell you that, huh? Oh, fuck, Dad. Anyway, we can make this fight last the next 300 years so I'll die of old age. What the fuck? I kind of feel you, know? I'm Grey's Anatomy ass. Bro, they was getting into it after this, bro. That's all the pep talk this man Baki needed. The threat of Grey's Anatomy was too great because this man Baki tried everything in the world to beat his dad at this point. Started hitting all type of exquisite ass combos. But in the end, man, this dude, Yujiro, hit this dude with a 40 piece and knocked his ass down. And I ain't talking no Popeyes, nigga. That was a 40 piece with straight hands. Had this dude Baki laying down like he was a pure bitch. And even though Baki is going to admit that he lost this fight, Yujiro actually named him the winner, which is crazy. Bro sat down and made him a meal, which is insane to think about that this man Yujiro would have humbled himself like that, but then he proclaims that he is no longer the strongest creature, the strongest man in the world. It's Baki now, which is Cat, but like, damn, must have took a lot for him to say that. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna hold you. I have no idea what's next for Baki, y'all, but I've been reading some of the manga, and that shit is crazy. So I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna say this right now at the end of the video, but I'm also gonna make my editor put it at the beginning of the video too, so y'all niggas can get it. So I'm gonna say this right now. Before we get into this video, but also this is the end of the video. This is crazy. I'm speaking to y'all from the future and the past and the past and the future. If you get this video to at least 15,000 likes, then I'm gonna cover the Baki manga after this. And I'm not gonna lie, you're not gonna wanna miss this. Musashi in the art. Yeah, the swordsman. It's going crazy right now. Motherfuckers getting power-ups. One of y'all favorite characters die. God damn. 